Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this week I am back at you with another video. This one is going to be the AliExpress video and I just ordered just a few things from the website because I was super intrigued. I've seen tons of videos on people's channels and I need to try it out for myself. So I got um, five items um, from the website which all totaled $9. So you can just see how cheap everything is. Um, so what AliExpress is, it's a website um, where they sell many, many different things, like tons and tons of things. It's just endless. And um, the thing I've heard about the most is the makeup. And they are um, just, um, how do I explain this? They are products that are dupes for the original um, products, like really expensive brands um, that are just like fake products. I simply order them, not even to use on myself, just for the sake of review for you guys. Um, and I'm actually giving these products to my sister and full disclosure, she knows exactly where these products came from, what they are, that they're not um, the real products. So um, she's going to use them. Um, I'm just too afraid to use them on myself just because of the things I've heard and um, I'm paranoid about putting strange chemicals on my lips. So. Um, so that is for majority of what I ordered, lip products. So I'm just going to get right into it so this video is not super, super long. But um, we'll start out with um, the smaller items and work our way up to the best ones, I would think. Um, so the first one I got is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Mars. So that's what it is. I mean, I don't own any of these products, uh, the actual products, but when you look on the website at the packaging and everything, it looks pretty much identical. This one came a little beat up, um, so you can see the top, um, the box was ripped open. Um, these are all different sellers. I'm not going to link them below because um, that's a big no-no on YouTube world, but um, I mean, you guys, I can link the website itself below and you guys can just go check it out and explore and see what you can find. So this one, on the box, it makes it look like it's just like a red type of color. But it's actually, when you pull it out, it's like a hot pink. But as you can see, the bottle, I'm not sure if you can tell, but the bottle looks pretty identical to the one on the website. And I mean, these are pretty affordable to begin with. They're like five bucks each or something like that. Um, so it's, it's not like crazy if you wanted to buy the actual ones. I mean, I just don't ever do that. But I'll just swatch here for you. So this is the ColourPop Ultra Matte. I don't know how fast it dries because like I said, I've never worn it on my lips. I'm too afraid to do that. But um, my hand, I mean, it's not as bad. So that is the Mars from ColourPop. Um, this color is just like, I mean, even if I was to buy the real one and it was this color, like it's just way too bright for me. I, it's really hard to try to choose a lip color from, from a website because you can't really gauge what it really looks like until you get it in person and then it's like, I don't know. I guess I'm just really picky with my lip colors. But moving on, I got the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. It's not a lip lipstick nor is it a gloss. It's like nothing you've ever experienced before. So this is in the shade San Paolo. Um, and these look pretty identical to the actual bottles too. So this is just like a really, really pretty shade of pink again. Because it's a matte, it's just a weird, really weird shade. I mean, to me, it feels more like a gloss. I mean, I've done a swatch on my hand before and it just doesn't really dry down. I mean, I don't know if that's what it's supposed to do, being a soft matte, but um, that's the shade right below. I don't know if I'm pointing to the right one. <laughs> right below it, it's the shade. So. There's that one. Oh, sorry, I forgot to say the prices. So this one was about a dollar, the ColourPop. And the NYX, I believe, was $1.75. These are pretty affordable at the store, too. I think they're ranging around like six or seven dollars at the drugstore, so not bad. I also got a NYX lip liner in the shade Mauve. Now, this shade I really, really like. I would definitely consider buying the real pencil. Um, but it's just this shade. You can see it on the tip there. And the bottle looks super, super identical to the one in the drugstore. I actually went and checked this one out. Very, very creamy. 
So that is that one. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, the smell, the smell to the NYX, Ooh, you guys just got it on my nose. <laughs> the smell to the NYX is like, um, I think they're trying to go for something fruity, but it just smells like chemicals to me. That's what like scares me the most about these things. I don't know what this one smells like. Oh, that one smells effing terrible. This smells like, I don't even know, like a melted crayon mixed with other sick crap. I don't even know. Are the Kylie Lip Kits. This is actually what I went on to purchase originally. So, I mean, I was just intrigued by them. Like so many people were picking these up and I just had to see them in person for myself. And these were actually like a dollar. 95 each and it comes with the lipstick the liquid lipstick and the lip liner in each box so i just got posy k and coco k on the website i mean like i said the pictures are so small they won't let you enlarge them at all so it's really hard to gauge what kind of color you're getting um like i said i'm kind of picky with my lip colors but um the boxes do look pretty legit i mean compared to the pictures on the website but these two products came from the same seller and the boxes are not the same as each other like this one's like a grayish color and this one's like a cream color sort of weird anyway and the wording on the back is different from each other too which is strange like one is bigger than the other I don't know if you can see that but yes, we will see Posey K here. I was really excited to see like the berry color anyways, um, which is kind of weird because I'm not wearing it anyway. But this is how this one came. Usually there's like a lip, I'm sorry, the lip liners behind the cardboard and the lipsticks in front of it, but it just doesn't even fit like that. So this is the way it came. But these are, let me see here. So this is what they look like. They have the emblem on there and the typical melted um, look to the bottle. And that is the shade. Whoops. You can see that. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch them. They are, they don't even say how full, I mean, um, Sorry how big the bottle is, but I don't think that really matters either way because I'm not wearing them. And these are trying to smell like um, a vanilla cupcake scent. I don't know if that's what the real Kylie Jenner lip stuff is supposed to smell like, but it has like a really chemical type of smell to it along with the um, vanilla. Let me just put these away. So these two bottom shades here are the Posey K. Super, super pretty color. Don't think that would look good on my lips because it's just a little too pinky for me. But it is a really pretty color. I mean, my sister is excited about them, so that's something, right? Okay, so this is, like I said, Coco K. So this one, it just wouldn't look right on me because it totally washed me out either way, even if I used the real one in this color. But these look identical to the last ones I showed you, I mean packaging wise. So that is what they look like. And the shade. So I'm going to swatch these for you now. I feel like the lip liner from the other one would probably go better with this color. And again, this one has that really, really potent, like vanilla chemical type of smell. I mean, you pay for what you get, right? So that is the bottom shade is Coco K. Sorry, it's Coco K. So like I said, these are all the swatches for everything that I did today. The ColourPop, NYX, NYX Lip Liner, Posey K, and Coco K. And as you can see, the ColourPop did dry matte, and 
These are a B I T C H to get off. I will tell you, I was in the shower and I had to like scrub, 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 scrub. Like it peeled off like, um, you know, like when glue dries on your hand and you like peel it off in pieces, which I think is like strange, very strange. And I'm so glad it's only been on my hand because I am terrified to put this crap on my lips. I will be wearing it for like a week. That's how bad it literally is to take off. I mean, but all these colors just look so pretty on my hand, don't they? That's just where they're going to stay, too. So, yeah. That is my review of the five products that I got from AliExpress. Overall, I might order from that website again, but other things, like they have hoodies and... Um, like, I don't know, just any random assortment of stuff that I've seen. Pretty dresses. I'm very reluctant ordering um, clothes online. Um, just because, I mean, you never know how it's going to fit. I mean, I have a, I'm kind of heavy set, so you never know how that stuff's going to fit. But um, these are super pretty, so we'll see what they look like on my sister. She's got a darker complexion than me, so she can probably pull off most of these colors better than I can. I feel like these just um, wash me out, make me look like dead. So, oh, it smells so bad. Anyway, so that's my review of AliExpress makeup products. And if you like this video, video <laughs> duh. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up and sub hit that subscribe button so you can join my YouTube family. I will have another cleaning routine video coming up. I'm going to be doing my bathroom cleaning routine soon. I know you guys all loved my other cleaning, sorry, my weeknight cleaning routine. So thank you so, so, so much for how many views and subscribers I've gained from that. I am so happy that my YouTube family is growing and I cannot wait to show you guys more videos and what I have to offer. So that's all for today's video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.